Hey, it's Robin's Flying Crochet. How are you today? I've got my chain for my eyeglasses that's evidently come off my eyeglasses. My eyeglasses are sitting on top of my head. I guess it came off the chain. Got some finished objects. Can talk about whips and future plans. Might need some suggestions from some people because I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do. So, having that um, mentioned, let's see. What do I have? Did another scarf. Still working through my eight balls of this stuff. Um, I'm probably going to take a break. My husband was kind enough to buy me some yarn. So so I can get at least one scarf out of it. I think I can, the balls are big enough I can get two. I'm going to go ahead and take a break because I'm like getting tired of working with this gray. It, it's just too thin for what I'm doing. And it takes me extra long. And I get one done for the whole day. And I'm like taking usually two hours for a scarf. Why is it taking so long? Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to show you that last. Cause that one's nice. I um, did not do much for Charlie's Love this week. Um, again, I'm having still having problems controlling my body temperature. And when I'm cold, I'm cold. And if I don't address it, it only makes it prolonged worse. Um, I don't know how well I'm going to be doing with stuff with the Olympics, getting stuff done, but I'm going to try. Um, but anyway, got another hat. Um, this is not from this past two, this past Wednesday. I think I made this Tuesday instead. I think I just wanted to make up something to have it done. I don't know why. No, I made it two, two, two Wednesdays ago. It fell off the table, so it couldn't be shown, so now it's shown. I, what I want to do is I want to dig out my colors that would work for the Sesame Street family, and I want to make up beanies and have them re on, they're ready to go, and then stitch some shape or form so that they can actually look like the Sesame Street gang. That's the thought process that I have going on right now. I haven't done anything about it, but hey, I can always have thoughts. I did finish two towels on Saturday. Saturday, I did get really sick. Um, this one is, you know, the first cup of coffee is, excuse me, I cannot remember anything. A hot, fresh cup of coffee is the best way to start the day. So that's that one. Again, blue with the black. I did finish up this blue. Um, live every moment with joy and laughter. Can't remember if I actually finished up the blue. Pretty sure I finished it. Um, or if it's like just very little left and I'll finish it on one that's coming up or something. But anyway, I know I, I'm close to finishing that whole skein of yarn just on towels. So have that. Then, oh, I know why it doesn't look like I have a lot here. I did a baby gift and I wanted to give it to a lady before she actually went on out on maternity leave. It was for my pharmacist, um, Alyssa, and she's having a little boy. She knew exactly what she had. I had these four skeins of yarn in my storage um, box, storage tube. Uh, it's actually my coffee table. And I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for somebody to make it with. It's uh, it's definitely a, like a DK weight. My hair is a mess. It's definitely a DK weight, so I want it for something for a baby. And I've been making stuff out of different various colors that I did have with for Charlie's Love. But I knew this blue, blue and white, various colors of blue and white, was going to be for someone very special. And um, like I said, it was for my pharmacist. She she started out as as the assistant pharmacist. Now she's head pharmacist. Congratulations, Alyssa. And um, I really, really, really love this pharmacy. I know it's strange to say that, but I don't know if you've been with me for a while. You may know the back history. You may not know all the history. If you're new, you don't know any history, so let me share. Um, my husband was hurt on December 19th, 2018. I almost lost him in January of 2019. Um, the, he had uh, tore a rotator cup, is what the injury is. It's not in the usual spot, it's a little farther up. But the um, orthopedic doctor says yes, definitely a rotator cuff, the cup tear, no matter what you want to call it, it's a rotator cup tear, it's just in an unusual spot. It happens, but it is. My book is a rotator cup tear, tear no matter what. Um, so 
you know, we've been going through workman's comp. We're trying to do a settlement. We agreed on a settlement back in September of last year. Wasn't what we wanted, but it's what we felt we could get. Um, because we have no other income but his income coming in from workman's comp. So we agreed to it. Um, long story short, in that process, we had about three months where we had no income coming in because workman's comp didn't want to pay for anything because we got the infection. And they were saying the infection is not our fault, um, which is where they're trying to go with all this, is that the infection was not their fault. It happened on December 19th. His work did not give us any workman's compensation information until January 2nd. It took me all of two hours to get an MRI scheduled for him, which is what the doctors needed before they could progress on. He had the MRI done on Friday, was very sick. And the lady's like, you know, if he's this sick, I can't really handle him. You know, you're, you're going to have to turn around and take him to the emergency room. I said, if he's that sick, dial 911 and have them come pick him up. Because I can barely handle him. Well, we got the MRI done. Um, the doctor called me 6 o'clock that Friday. It was a Friday evening. He called me 6 o'clock that night. And he says, I don't have office hours on Monday. But I want you in my office on Tuesday. They could actually see in the MRI that the arm was already infected. But that's not what he... Uh, he didn't inform us that. He could already, Later on, it came out that he could actually see it on, that, on the MRI. Um, long story short, we were trying to get to there. By Sunday, he could no longer sit up by himself for very long periods of time, and he could no longer hold stuff. He had dropped a glass of iced tea. He had dropped his breakfast three times. Um, it was like, okay, we're going to get you out to the um, living room. We're going to call 911. You're going to the hospital. And as it was, it took them two days to figure out what was wrong with him. Um, they went in one direction. It was not that issue. It was a totally different direction. Had the doctor not caught him in the hallway. Um, I would not have a husband today, but he, whatever, he, whatever infection he had turned septic on him. Um, and from that, he's lost the sight in one eye. That's a hundred percent blind. He's lost a portion of his bone because the infection got into the bone. The infection is still there two years later and they don't think they can treat it now until the idea is that they won't treat it now because it's there, but he's not having any issues with it. Until he goes to have something done, then he's got to be antibiotic treatment. Then he can be worked on an antibiotic treatment afterwards. So it's a long progress because we've been he's been off and on antibiotics for over two years now. Um, IVs, pills, um, and once in a while, he's uh, he had a, a spot show up on his kidneys. He's been having kidneys issues anyway because he discovered cancer in 2010. Already lost a third of a kidney, but he had a spot show up on the kidney. That went away. He had a spot show in the lungs. That went away. Um, no use of this arm, except like this. No up or down. Um, no strength. Uh, had a t blister come up on his foot. Blister popped. Went. To, didn't like the way it looked. Went to the PCP. Turned around. Got the information we're supposed to do. What we're supposed to do. Within a day, it was it didn't look better so we went to the emergency room it was infected he lost a toe and two bones into his foot because of that infection so needless to say if he has anything that turns up a strange color we have to go to the emergency room so anyway so through this time it's farm we had no no money coming in for three three months and we were like trying to maintain his diabetes medicine and it was four hundred dollars with a prescription for one month and the pharmacist is like, I'm like, I, I, I can't do that. I have nothing. And he says, do you have 20 minutes to walk around the store? And I said, yeah. He said, I went walking around the store. I had like $50 on me. That's exactly what I had. Um, and I was buying, picking up some, some groceries and stuff like that. And I came back. And he's like, okay, I got you a prescription. It's all ready. You owe nothing. What do you mean I owe nothing? He says, there's a program out there. I got you into it. You owe nothing, and it's good to the end of the year. Fantastic. So we had that for the rest of 2019. When 2020 rolled around, it changed to where we would get four pens for $99. So the pens cost us $25 a piece. That was, again, it was, a, it was fantastic. It was something that was worked out for us. We went ahead and did that. 
Now we have insurance that pays for it all, so we don't have to worry about it. Thank goodness, which took forever to get. And then um, I, on the same day he's getting the pens for us for free, I had to get his um, strips for his in, for his meter. And the, I told him what I wanted and stuff like that. And he says, how much are you paying for them? And I say, like $51. And he says, if you have another 20 minutes you can give me, I think I can get this work down cheaper for you. I said, yeah, let me go. I'll circle all account. I'm just going to sit over here for whatever. So I did that and I came back. He says, okay, I got your new machine and your test strips and your test strips for a month instead of just two weeks are the same cost as test strips for two weeks. I'm like, I can deal with that. Um, so they really work with us and try to get us anything. They've told us if we can't get something, let if, you know, if there's something that they can get for us, let them know. If we're waiting for prescriptions, they've worked really hard. Basically, I've been going in with a mask for over a year, and they just kind of know when I walk up to the counter what it is I'm asking for, and they just start grabbing stuff for me. Um, so they've been really, really helpful. So I really wanted to turn around and do something for Alyssa. I wanted to do something for the man, which is Randy, who started everything for us, but he got transferred, and I found out on Friday that he was leaving on Tuesday, so I didn't have enough time to get something together for him, but I'm thinking... I have a blanket that's sitting here that I had made. My son was supposed to take it. He decided not to take it for some odd reason. So I was going to like, uh, I might just turn around and see if my son still wants it. If he doesn't want it, see if Alyssa has his address and can send it to him and stuff like that. Anyway, so that's where I am with that. And then, um, so she's expecting a baby. And I want to make sure I got stuff to her before I actually, she went on maternity leave. So I don't have a picture because the picture I have is on Facebook in a yarn bingo i'll post that down below um it's i made her a pentagon granny square blanket an octopus and a little baby hat with little barriers on it so really really cute and i love this the coloring was just perfect for this and i used all four balls and i got all three things out of it so i was really happy with that with that i would have liked the blanket to be a little bit bigger but the baby's coming in august and um it's a lightweight blanket so it should work through the fall for him and um, so that's why I don't have an, a, 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 a bigger thing. I have three things that aren't here that I worked on last week. So, but in the meantime, I had this ball left over from doing a market bag. And I love, or, yeah, because I did a set of place market bag. I did a market bag for set of place crochet along. And again, it's another small blanket, but it's a granny square. My light's washing it out. But anyway, let me see if I can show, show you the colors. Let me see if I can move the light. Yeah, I just tear apart my room. It's nothing. All right. Let me see if I can turn the light away from it. Maybe it won't wash it out as bad. Anyway, I think that's the best way to show it is that corner. It's gray. There's a slight color brown and two tones of blue. Anyway, so I got this ball on a purchase that I did like the beginning of the year. My husband gave me some money and said, go buy whatever you want. And of course, I went and bought whatever I want because he didn't give me a limit. And I have to say, it was probably a stimulus check related thing. He didn't give me a limit. I spent over $200. So I only spent about $100 in yarn, which I thought was very, very good. Um, but I got that and a little hat to go with it. And the only way that you can tell that it actually goes with it is that the, it's the gray, definitely. But then it goes into the green of the blanket. So you can tell that it actually does go with the blanket. So I'm missing three items. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six items that I have. And I have a tea towel that's already done, a towel topper that's already done. But I didn't get a chance to sew on the button because I was getting sick. And I just kind of like, it's gone, not happening. Bed. Um, so that was it. But this is what I got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, here's my seventh thing. I hear my head sharp. I'm getting better in I'm a groomy. I'm still not perfect, but I'm getting better. I would like the tail next time to be a little longer. Um, I had to do the tail twice to get it this long because it kind of like went real short real quick. Um, just because I would like the tail to be a little bit longer so it feels more balanced. But I got the hammerhead sharp. And this was all pattern reading for me. And I feel... And finding out, because I went back to do another pattern, that I'm reading it the first time and I'm creating something. 
but when I'm reading it for the second time, I'm actually understanding it better. So I will think I'm going to make another one of these. Um, but the strange thing is, my stash is coming down. My stash is coming down a lot. I would like to make another one of these, I think, in blue. My oldest grandson finally saw this, and he's like, I really want that. And he doesn't understand that I made it for him. It is probably going to be a Christmas present or a birthday present for him. Um, I can't tell him that. But then his sister leaned over to me and she said, Poppy, his favorite color is blue. We need to make a blue one for him. And I really kind of, that's the thought I was going when I, after I got done. I was like, I really enjoyed doing this. I think I want to do a blue one and see what it looks like and stuff like that. But before I can do that, I already have a crochet cradle uh, purse made for the one for Christmas. I have now shark, hammerhead shark for the oldest one for Christmas. I need to make something for the youngest two for Christmas. So I need to come up with something. And I'm not sure what I'm going to make. So suggestions. Always take suggestions. So that is my finished objects for this week. I'm rambling on. I have no idea what how much time. Oh my gosh, 16 minutes. So anyway, so that's what I got done. Works in progress. I didn't bring any works in progress with me because what I'm working on is my temperature blanket. Again, if you're in yarn bingo, you can see that. Or if you send me a message here, I will try and we can, I can show you, try and show you a message here. I don't edit my videos at all. So what I do is what you see. Um, you know, I try my first shot. If I get it, I get it. If I fumble and fiddle, Oh, well, that's what the video is going to be because I do not know how to edit. Um, my son has found a thing for me to edit with and he keeps forgetting to send me the link. So I don't know how to edit. And he also created me a startup um, thing to add to my video. But at this point, this is what I got. So this is what you get. Okay. I'm managing. Um, so that's what I'm working on. And I have two days with only one grandchild instead of three grandchildren. He's less than an hour to do his schoolwork because he's pre-K. Um, and pretty much the rest of my day, except for doctor's appointments, are free. Um, so I'm going to, most of the day is gone today, but I'm on the last row of my temperature blanket. I had, I think at the last count, like one, two, three, four, I had 19. So I have 13 more squares to put in, then I have to create a square because my white ones, I didn't have white, create that square. So I have 14 squares to put it. Thank you, numbers up. 14 squares to put in. Then I get to start on my border. And as I do my border, every color I finish up with comes out of my bag. I have a big bag sits next to my chair, a huge bag. My husband's, you know, catching things as he's walking through the room, catches it on, on his feet. So, and it's big enough that I don't move because it's something I consistently work on once a week now. So I don't move it. And now I'm to the point where I'm like, I'm dying to finish it. So I'm, because I was going to start it. I meant to start it Monday night and I was going to finish it up on Tuesday to have all the things in. He had bought, went to the store, bought me some yarn. Unfortunately, the yarn was the wrong color. I asked for white. And... When he went to Walmart, the only white he could find was soft white. And when you hold it up, it's definitely a difference. So I had to go to Michael's, but I got to go to Michael's. And he bought me my, I bought two balls of yarn there, the white. And then I also got, um, I got a whip caddy. Not together yet, but I got a whip caddy. Because I'm, I'm getting frustrated because I'm trying to put, keep my stuff together. And... It's falling off the other side of the table behind the sofa. Henceforth, red hat didn't make it last week. Um, so that's what I'm working on. I have two days, and my days to what I'm supposed to work on today is either a set of place cow or my hammerhead shark. I've done both. Excuse me, tomorrow is my yarn bingo, a whip, a Christmas present, or an object of my process. My, my choice. So Friday's a free day. Guess what I'm working on? I'm working on my temperature blanket. I cannot finish it until August though. 
I have to stay the last stitch till August because I've already posted it in July for my bingo being finished and I can't post it again. You know, once you posted it, it's done. So I can't, but I think it's going to take me at least, I think August, I think July has two more Tuesdays in it. It'll probably take me that long to get around the border because this temperature blanket is big enough to cover a king size bed. When I actually take pictures of it, I take it out into the foyer and lay it across the floor. Um, it's huge, very much so. But when it is done, that is a video that I may actually post of that blanket by itself because I will go to my son and say, here's what I want, and I want this to be edited, to be able to be put into my videos, and that's when I'll get this editing software that I have, or editing thing I have to have so that I can turn around and edit my videos. Looking forward to it, but that is my goal. Um, I have future endeavors. I've got to make something for a one-year-old who will turn two in January for Christmas. So I need Christmas and present, Christmas birthday for him. I have a four-year-old who I've got to come up with something for his birthday, uh, or his his Christmas present. I have to work on something for my husband. I have to come up with something. For two grown men that are 34, they'll be 34 on Christmas, and I should have two daughter-in-laws I have to come up with, and then I have another son-in-law who is 30 this year, 31, he turns 31, he's 1990, he turns 31 this year, so I have three gifts that I have to come up with for three men that are 33 years old. And I've seen something I want to do, I know it's going to be time consuming, and I'm not sure I want to spend that much time devote on three different majorly large blankets after my temperature blanket. But I do want to learn how to do um, grafting. So that's going to probably be my next project. I have a project picked out. It's going to be like a small pillow. I'm going to think I'm going to do that next. Then I'm going to um, I need to learn corner to corner. But again it comes down to reading patterns not very i've watched a video and it's too tight too close i can't like see it well enough to understand what's supposed to be happening um i might have I'm, i gotta look and see if bag of day has one because i can usually follow her well enough see if she has a corner to corner if not i have to, um i think yarn yarn joy does i'll see if she has one that, that i can follow if not um jade and stitches i might be able to do that's where I am right now. But I definitely want to do a graphic, so I've got one already picked out. I think that's what I'm going to do next. Um, so, there are, that's probably my future objects. But hey, just be kind to everybody. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to come back and see some more stuff, please subscribe. And then, of course, after you subscribe, a little bell should come up. When the bell comes up, of course, hit that because that way you get all the videos. And hey, you never know what I might shoot. Sometimes I get a little wild and go crazy. Or sometimes it's, you know, I might shoot something for the kids and stuff like that. But root for the Olympics. They're coming on. They're already having problems with the Olympics, having COVID-19 developing while people are over there. And yes, I am in my pajamas. But you know what? I don't really care. I'm to that point. It's a day. I don't have extra kids. Um, even if I had extra kids, I still wear my pajamas. So it doesn't really matter. I didn't have to go anywhere today. Um, I'm still doing my recovery process so I can be a little bit more laid back. I don't care about my hair. It's been off since the pandemic. I have very, very curly hair and this is nothing. This is nothing. This is way less than what I usually have. Um, curl wise, I don't know if it's the humidity. I haven't been outside. I have no idea. But anyway, hey, be kind. See you next time. Hopefully I'll have more than seven whips with me to show you. Um, but I wouldn't guarantee it because I'm really worked in two days on that blanket. Um, so until next time, see ya. Bye.